What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I'm back in Las Vegas, Nevada once again. Here with Roger at Red Rock Canyon. What's the name of the trail we're about to hike right now? They make really good cookies. <laughs> we are gonna be hiking the Girl Scout Trail. Not really a hike, it's more like a old Just a, man walk. Yeah, an old man walk. <laughs> because it's already 90 degrees out. So my morning started super early, woke up at 4.15 mountain time, went to the airport at 4.30 in Denver, Colorado, and then landed in Vegas at like 6.30 in the morning. It's the earliest I've ever seen Roger awake, I'm not gonna lie. That's not true, I've been up at this time, I was just getting ready to go to bed. You are getting ready to go to bed, exactly. So I flew back here because this is my last like free week of being able to do whatever I want until I have some really cool stuff coming up. You guys will see that stuff on the channel soon. But yeah, Golden Knights still in the playoffs. Go Knights, go! It's game five tonight? Yeah, it's Tomorrow? Up, it's gonna be a pretty wild game. You guys will see that before this video ends. But for now, check out the mountains. Right, guys we're back at QVO <laughs> HQ the hike was great that game last night not, not so, so great <laughs> might be the worst hockey game that we've gone to in a while but the worst hockey game I've ever been to it's all good I only flew 800 miles to come watch him play but you know That's right. there's another game Saturday we delayed his flight he's gonna stay till then <laughs> I don't know about that yet we'll cross that bridge when we get to it uh, we just made a Costco run like we always do. <laughs> and Roger left with one of these. Ninebot Segway Scooter. So Ninebot is one of those companies, or Segway in general, they're one of those companies that always reach out to me trying to get me to review their scooters. On the last electric skateboard video I did, a lot of you guys were actually interested in that stuff. I don't know if I'll review something like this, but it seems affordable and it's kind of cool. So we're gonna mess around with these things for a little while possibly have a round two of night vision with eboard and stuff like that later if you guys haven't seen that video i'll leave a link for it right up there in the corner gonna do some dinner tonight and then we have a special event tomorrow thursday oh god <laughs> we got invited to a special event uh on thursday night so you guys will see that in a second all right first impressions of the nine bot segway scooter Oh, it's sketchy while doing it one-handed. I've never felt more uncool in my entire life. I can't believe they let these out in the public for drunk people to ride around cities. That's insane to me. 
So I guess again, I'll ask the question, would you guys want to see a review on something like this? I don't know, it might be for like an older crowd, but maybe the younger crowd too. I don't know, we'll see. Your steed, sir. Would you call it? Your steed. <laughs> I think it's pretty dope, man. <laughs> Not bad. Yo, what up? Day three, I think, in Vegas now. Roger and I are heading down to an event that some friends of ours are putting on. I'm sure you will recognize some familiar faces. Heading down to Pro Gun Club right now, down in Boulder City. A few quick announcements, because I've only actually talked about this on Instagram before, but you guys know with Psy Productions, I'm doing new apparel, new merch, and hats, and shirts, and all sorts of cool stuff every month. That stuff is still going on right now. We just had a release last week and I dropped the ball, forgot to mention it. Another thing though is that I have released my next project with Danger Close Armament and they are TS-19 barrels. I designed the barrels myself just like I designed the TS-43X and they are live right now. They are exclusive. We only have 250 of each. Now we probably have less than 200 of each. Two different variants are one is a black nitride or a black DLC coat barrel. The second one is a titanium nitride barrel, so depending on which flavor you like, those are available right now. Head over to SciProductions.com, go to the Sunday Gun Day tab, and you will find all of the information that you need over there. That bling bling Gucci gold. That bling bling Gucci gold. I will say, hypothetically, if a TS-19 were to ever be released, if you wanted to have the entire package the way that I hypothetically might have a TS-19 and if you want to carry the same exact one as me, you might want to get one of those barrels before they sell out because they hypothetically will not be included in a package like that in the future. So get those while you can. Hopefully you guys like them. I think they're dope. And to stay up to date with everything else that I have going on, like product-wise, you can find that stuff over on my website. Speaking of products that I've designed and have been working on, I mentioned about a year ago that I was collaborating with Travax on a product that, again, I designed myself. You guys already know what I'm talking about. I don't want to draw too much attention to it because you guys are going to riddle me with questions, but I plan on releasing a video along with that product hopefully next week. So stay tuned for all that stuff, again, over on my website, SciProductions.com, and on Instagram, because I keep you guys up to date over there. And join Patreon, because those guys know all about that stuff already. So we're going to this event right now, known as the Coast to Coast Tour, that my friend Ivan, AKA Kit Badger, is putting on. I didn't get to attend the last one, because I was traveling myself. He is now here in Las Vegas, and it's an event that you guys can find out about on his website. We're gonna go check it out. I don't know how much I can actually show on this channel because YouTube hates me, but it is what it is. After this event, we're coming all the way back up here. We're getting suited up, G'd up from the knees up, just event after event. You guys will see more on that later, but for now, headed to Pro Gun. Sup, dude? First day of school? No, I bought a yacht. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past you. So we're back from Ivan from Kit Badger's Coast to Coast tour that was down at Pro Gun. Unfortunately, because of everything that we were doing there, I'm not gonna put it on this channel. I actually have a Sunday Gun Day coming this week though, over on the second channel at the same place so you guys can check that out here pretty soon. We're all dressed like this, like we're going to a yacht club party because, Roger, where are we going? Resort World. Is, is it resort or resorts? Plural, resorts. A new strip casino hotel. It's opening. The grand up. opening. Whoa. We are fancy. So we're gonna head down towards the strip right now. Actually, we're probably running a little bit late. They're gonna tell us that we can't get in because we're wearing shorts and I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed. We went out and bought this stuff today. I'm probably not gonna bring my camera, so I'll just record the new so, casino and everything going on on my 4K, phone. 4K, 60 frames per second on the iPhone. I got an old ass iPhone. Though. Can you use mine? Airdrop. All right, cool. <laughs> Hello. 
Resort World. Hello. So this is a soft opening for a brand new casino on the Las Vegas Strip down almost near the stratosphere right across from Circus Circus. So this place is opening in about one hour from now. We've been here for a while as per the B-roll that you guys saw. Supposedly, we're going to a CTS though at the pool. Still here? <laughs> Damn it. What's up, dog? Yo. How was last night? Good morning. Good morning. It's good for me, dog. I didn't chug a gin drink in the matter of an escalator ride. You said I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it. And then you were mad and you were starting to clean up. You're going to grab another one? We replaced that with tequila shots at the pool. If you want to know what he looks like behind the camera, just uh, go watch the video he's about to put right up here. The, the first, first time, time I've made this. Because I look like this right now. <laughs> the opening of Resort World was super dope. There were a lot of, lot of people there. That's something that I've never done before in all the times that I've come to Vegas. But it was really cool to see that open. And now they're open until they go out of business, I guess. That's the thing with casinos. They just never close, so... My flight out of here keeps getting delayed and pushed back, so I'm probably going to be leaving Vegas this afternoon, 9 o'clock maybe, I don't know. But for now, that's where I'm going to end the video. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it. If you left a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.